Hello, Internet. Um, so, a uh, couple of things. Um, I did end up having a uh, bowel movement this morning, uh, but it was very small. And uh, I went into my doctor's appointment, and he said that that was a good sign. Um, he ended up not ordering uh, an x-ray. He said that he's not concerned. Uh, the gastroenterologist is also not concerned by this. Um, it is likely that because the stent is only so big around, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, uh, expand very far. Um, that this is just the new normal for me. I'm going to have to get used to uh, having infrequent bowel movements. So there's that. Um, I got a call from HR, and I am on unpaid administrative leave uh, until further notice. I should hear from someone tomorrow, actually, um, to discuss what happened and what is going to happen. Um, I'm a little bit worried that, about that because tomorrow is also my uh, chemotherapy class basically like an orientation class. They're going to sit me down and explain everything that I need to know about my upcoming chemotherapy on Thursday. And, uh, <clears throat> and yeah, uh, so my class tomorrow is at 10 o'clock in the morning, and I, I really hope that HR doesn't give me a call in the morning and say, hey, we need you to come in at, you know, such and such time, and, and like, it ends up conflicting or whatever, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, possible side effects, possible consequences, sorry, possible consequences of my actions are, I could be fired, but that's an extreme. Uh, I've been told that that's not by anybody in, in an official capacity, but uh, I've been told by a couple of people that that's unlikely. More than likely, I'll be transferred um, out of where I am. And if that happens, I will be kind of uh, crushed because I really like where I am. And the thought of not being able to work there while I'm going through this really bothers me. To not have that is... It's, it's... I don't know. I realize I fucked myself. Uh, I screwed up bad. There's nothing I can do about that. I said this to a friend when I was talking about it, and uh, and I hit on something that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, this past month and, and more, more than a month, um, since I found out, I have been told where to go by other people. Go get an ultrasound. Go get a colonoscopy, go get an x-ray, go get an MRI, go get a CT scan, go get a, a port implanted, go get a stent. And I did it. I did, you know, I've done it all. And people talk about fighting cancer, and I'm, I'm not fighting. I'm just doing what other people tell me. I'm just along for the ride. And, uh, and I guess that just sort of weighed on me so much that, you know, a demanding day at a time when I'm feeling pretty scared. Uh, my boss
else says, go do this. And it was just, it was one more person telling me to go somewhere and do something. And I realize it's my job. I mean, of course I have to go do it. It's my job, but it just didn't enter into my head that way. And I just want some level of control over something in my life, and I don't have that. And it just sort of pried open the lock. It was just enough to make it come thundering out. It was a dumb mistake. I didn't... I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I still have to keep details vague. Uh, just in case somebody I work with finds this and they can't be like, you know... And he's telling details about this online. That's... It, it wouldn't be okay. So, I gotta keep it vague about exactly what went down, but... In any case... I'll deal with it, whatever the consequences. More than likely, I will still have a job, and that's positive. But this is going to cost me. So I'll um, post tomorrow after uh, my uh, chemo class and after I talk to HR. And I'll catch you up after that. So, until then.